Fallout 4's next-gen update is coming this year, and actually it's probably coming in just a few months, but ever since this update was first announced, there's been a lot of sort of misconceptions going around online, so in order to try and keep our expectations in check, in today's video I want to talk about what we can actually expect to see from this next-gen update, the things that are already confirmed for said update, along with things that Bethesda actually need to do with the update to make it all worthwhile. Now before we fully dive into it, we should take a look back at the original announcement of this update because we know that Bethesda said the following, quote, Fallout 4 is going next-gen, prepare for the future. A next-gen update is coming to Fallout 4 coming now in 2024, this free update will be available for Xbox Series X and S, PlayStation 5 and Windows PC systems, including performance mode features for high frame rates, quality features for 4K resolution gameplay, bug fixes and even bonus Creation Club content. Alright cool, so we know what was announced back when this update was supposed to drop last year, but first let's talk about the delay. I honestly believe that there were only two reasons that this update got delayed. I believe they delayed it mostly, like the main reason that they delayed it was just so then they could release it around April 12th, which is when the Fallout Amazon series is going to premiere on Prime Video. I've explained this hundreds of times on the channel to very, very quickly sum it up. Bethesda and Microsoft understand that releasing a next-gen update to your game around the same time as a series connected to that game comes out is a good move. Cyberpunk's Netflix animated series gave the Cyberpunk game the highest player spike ever since release, and the same thing happened with Witcher 3 and the Witcher series on Netflix. People will watch this series and get into the mood to play Fallout's most recent mainline game in the franchise, and be more likely to play it if they find out that Fallout 4 just had a major next-gen update. And then new viewers who have never played Fallout will watch the show, find out it's based on a video game, and then again be more likely to go and buy Fallout 4 knowing that it just had a massive new update, vice versa, people will play the game, get into the Fallout mood, and be more likely to check out the series. It just works, to quote Todd Howard himself. This benefits everybody involved. It benefits Amazon, Bethesda, and of course, Microsoft. Well, I believe the only other reason for this delay is because Bethesda just realized how good it can be to delay a game with Starfield. If they aren't ready, I mean. If they have plans for this next-gen update and it wasn't going to be finished by the end of 2023, it's better to just delay it and add in everything that you actually wanted to add in instead of just pushing out a rushed update. So with that said, let's assume this update is dropping around April 12th, but to actually get into it, what should we really expect? First things first, of course, bug fixes. Fallout 4 is an absolutely great game, nobody will ever be able to change my mind on that. But you are lying if you say that the game isn't riddled with bugs still to this day. One of the most important things Bethesda absolutely must do with this update is fix at the very least the majority of these bugs. I'm talking about the infinite elevator glitch, the creation club glitch that stops Vault 111's doors from opening at the start of the game, the glitch where you get stuck at a terminal, save files getting corrupted for near to no reason, all of the quest bugs and of course the biggest one, crashing in downtown Boston. The game is near unplayable when it comes to the crashes. That is the absolute number one priority, at least for me. As long as they fix the crashes, I'm honestly going to be happy with this update. I don't care about anything else personally. It can look the exact same, run the exact same, I don't care. As long as the crashes are fixed, I will be happy with this update. That's really all I care about. I miss being able to play Fallout 4 without crashing every two seconds in Boston. When it comes to FPS, we do know that Bethesda plans to update the FPS of Fallout 4 with this update, but I'm not expecting anything major here, just more stability. Definitely 60 FPS for PlayStation 5, which still runs the game at a low 30, by the way. I think they'll make all of it just more stable, meaning we won't drop as much FPS in high capacity areas, such as, again, downtown Boston, where there's just enemies around every corner, etc, etc. Now, they did also confirm 4K features for higher resolution gameplay. Now, they were very, you know, minimal about this. They just said features, which could pretty much mean anything. 
I believe that we'll get some shadows and lighting improvements. Hopefully some major improvements will come to the game's textures, but honestly I wouldn't hold my breath about that. I think realistically the textures will only be updated just a small amount, and of course, hopefully ray tracing. Those are the things that I think Bethesda need to do with this update at the very minimum when it comes to 4K resolution features. But whether they actually do all of this stuff, I'm honestly not sure. Now we're also getting bonus Creation Club content, which I'm sure you're all very excited for. If you ask me, all this will be is a new store, much like Skyrim's new store, which doesn't make me very happy if I'm honest. I wasn't impressed by this new store for Skyrim. I actually haven't played Skyrim since this update because I just disliked it that much. I absolutely hate how Creation Club Store and the regular mod page are now just sort of bundled together, especially on my Xbox, and again, there's no price improvements here, everything is still way overpriced, and there's nothing worth buying. I do 100% think that this store is coming to Fallout 4 with the next gen update, which again, I'm not too excited for. But one of the things that does make me just a little bit excited is that we may get some free creations that I am speculating here, by the way, that I do think some of these might be related to the Fallout Amazon show. We might see a, you know, Vault 33 or 32 jumpsuit. We might see some other outfits that are in the series, maybe some weapons, maybe even a dog meat skin that makes dog meat look like the dog meat from the show. I really wouldn't be surprised if Bethesda have asked their creation partners to add in a lot of this stuff. And honestly, I would be happy to use it, especially if they made these creations free for a limited time, just to sort of celebrate the premiere of the Fallout series. Sadly, we're not going to get any new features or quests or anything like that in this update. I feel like we should make that clear, as I have. I've seen just a few people wondering if this update will add in DLC or a new questline and stuff like that. Sadly it won't, but while we're on that topic, we honestly might see some of Starfield's newest features being brought over, just the small stuff like the FOV slider or the eat slash drink button. Of course, again, I am just speculating here, but it wouldn't surprise me too much if Bethesda did this, and honestly I think that they should. It's just two tiny things, and after all, an eat slash drink button would go a long way in Fallout 4, especially in survival mode, but also an FOV slider would be great too, so I don't have to use a mod to get FOV 100 anymore. There is truly a lot that I think Bethesda do need to do in order to make everybody happy with this update, and I have faith that they will do a lot of this stuff, but sadly probably not all of it. Like, I'm not expecting this update to make Fallout 4 look stunningly amazing, for example. Sure, it will probably look a little bit better, but that's it, and you know what, that's fine. I'm definitely not expecting anything major on the graphical side of things. Maybe some slightly better lighting and shadows and all of that stuff like I mentioned earlier. Sure, but I doubt any textures of, you know, buildings, cars, or the roads, or whatever, or enemies, NPCs, will look hugely improved, if I'm being 100% honest. Anyway, with all of that said, we are going to wrap up, so if you enjoyed the video, I kindly ask that you leave it a like, and consider subscribing if you want to stay fully up to date on Fallout content. Also, we are super close to 10,000 subscribers now, so if you do subscribe, thank you so much for helping us get a little further to our goal. And of course, go into the comments and let me know what you want to see from this next gen update. Lastly, as always, a huge and massive thank you to our channel members. But with all of that said and done, I thank you all so much for watching, and I really hope to see you next time. Peace.